But hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you guys had a good couple of weeks, right? I haven't uh, been able to be on Facebook Live. Well, just not last Friday. It feels, whenever I skip a week, it always feels like forever though. So hold on one sec. I feel like uh, I need to like adjust things a little bit here. That looked really... Um, too high up. All right, I think that's better. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna chat for a couple minutes while we wait for people to find us to hop on. I see eyeballs popping up now. So um, yeah, say hello and let me know who's on today. Uh, yeah, so middle of December. What, how many days till Christmas? OMG, right? <laughs> when it was earlier this week and they said 15 days till Christmas and it was like one of those you know, you know it's coming, but well, I don't know the reality of it. It always all gets done though, right? So yeah, let's see. We had a great weekend last weekend. We were down in the Detroit area. Uh, Lily had a tap performance that she, uh, two shows that she did on Sunday. So they had rehearsal and classes like all day and night Friday. And then for a good part of, hey, Anne, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, yeah, and then um, more rehearsal on Saturday. So I got to do lots of Christmas shopping. And okay, this was kind of um, hilarious, kind of embarrassing. I was in and out of so many stores and parking lots that at one point, literally, I walked out of the store all like, you know, ready to find my car. And then I was like, well, I have no idea where I parked. Like that's how many stores and parking lots I went in and out of. I like literally had no idea where my car was. So yeah, kind of embarrassing. I'm sure it happens to everyone. So I'm out there kind of talking to myself like, okay, just try to like think about which angle you walked into the store. Anyway, so hey Sharon, hey Sandy, I'm glad you guys can join us. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's see, what else is going on? Oh, <clears throat> well, we have uh, basketball has started, varsity. So our Alma High School vas varsity basketball has started. Yeah, good late morning. That's right, Sharon, exactly, yes. Good late morning, I should start saying that too. Hey Julie, how are you doing? Uh, hopefully everybody had a good week, a good couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so basketball started on Tuesday night. Hey, Nikki, how are you doing? Um, and Tammy, oh my gosh, yay, all these fun people are able to, well, not that not everyone else isn't fun, but it's just fun. I'm glad you guys can join us. I feel like I'm seeing some new faces that haven't been able to join us on the live for a little while. And I have a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little frog in my throat there. So yeah, okay, so yeah, basketball has started. You guys are like gonna hear me talk about this a lot. Uh, we So we went all the way down to Fowlerville, which is over an hour away, and the boys lost their very first game of like the whole season. Um, but it was kind of a bummer. They just, you know, they first game, that's tough. I'm like, maybe we should schedule that as kind of a tough team. Schedule them like a little bit later on, like not our very first game would be my, would be my suggestion if anyone were to ask me, right? Um, so yeah, and actually Cade kind of rolled his ankle too in that very first game. So it's a little bit black and blue, was a little bit swollen. He's been icing it and not practicing. And so they have a game tonight. So hey, Sally. Um, so he's hoping to play tonight. So I'm like, okay, just, you know, it's one of those like, don't hurt yourself more than you um, already are. Make sure you're okay to go. So yeah, say a prayer that he doesn't hurt himself. I'm like, that's my biggest worry, you know, because I, as a mom, I'm so super excited to watch these basketball games. I'm like, you gotta stay healthy and don't get injured so that, you know, I can have some fun watching <laughs> you play, basically. So we'll see. Um, this is gonna be another tough game tonight. Um, and lots of other fun stuff happening. There's a come home to Alma here in town, like a Santa parade, Santa comes um, into town and lots of shops and restaurants are, are open, kind of doing their thing. Usually I have gift tag making at the stamp studio, but because of this basketball game tonight, I decided I'm not gonna do it because it's a home game and I really don't wanna miss. I'm gonna try not to miss um, any you know, or very, very few of um, his basketball games. So anyway, we're not doing the gift tag making in case anybody's watching and wondering. Um, we're not doing that this year. It just kind of happened that way. Um, but yeah, lots of other fun stuff happening downtown. And Lily actually, although she's sick, she's like texting me right now saying, mom, I feel dizzy and icky and I want to go to sleep. Can you come pick me up from school? And I'm like, well, <laughs> 
after Facebook Live, I could. So anyway, I might be like dashing out the door to do that. And then we also have class this afternoon too at one o'clock at the stamp studio. So lots and lots and lots of stuff going on. But yeah, she's supposed to do another Nutcracker performance tonight also as part of the Come Home to Alma festivities. So hopefully she's feeling well enough to do that. So yeah, um, what time is Santa coming? Well, uh, so I, I say that, I'm pretty sure he's coming. Hey Pam, how are you doing? Um, the parade is at 5.45 and if you blink, you miss the parade. It's really not very long, but it's kind of fun because you know everybody puts lights all over their vehicles and everything. Um, but so he's gonna, I would say you need to be in Alma at like 5.30 or so. Um, and then you'll see Santa in the parade at 545. And literally, it's like a 10-minute parade, I think. So it's quick. So yeah, and then you can wander around and check stuff out. Hey, Becky, how are you doing? So yeah, okay, let's see. What else do we have going on? Um, I think we've... We've got a bunch of people in here. Why don't we go ahead and get started? So, and I'm gonna say hello if there's anybody new watching Facebook Live for the first time, either on the live or um, if you watch later on YouTube. I appreciate you joining us. So thank you very much for that. So, okay, um, what do we wanna start with? I have lots of fun stuff coming up, right? Well, big thing, uh, year-end closeout sale is happening right now, and I have a feeling that I can't remember, every year is a little bit of a blur, but there are some things discounted and I feel like maybe there's a chance that even more things will get discounted as the days go on. So keep an eye out, check the Stampin' Up! website, especially if there's something that you're wanting. If there's something that you really want, like from the holiday catalog that's retiring, order it now, don't wait, because I know everybody, like that Let It Snow designer series paper, that is all sold out, and I know a lot of people were wanting that, so don't be that guy, right? Get get what you want while you can so that it doesn't sell out um, or retire before you get a chance to get it. Um, yeah, and then watch for sales happening too, because like I said, I have a feeling that things will be more discounted as time goes on. I feel like they did that last year. Don't quote me on it though, because they, they're not, like, they don't do the same thing every single year, so you never know, but yeah, so just keep an eye out for that stuff too, and then celebration is coming up too on January 3rd, so that'll be here before we know it. There's an awesome starter kit deal. I'll be sharing more information about that because I'm a little bit foggy on the details of that starter kit deal at this exact moment. Hey Kay, how are you? Hi from North Carolina. And Rosa, hello, how are you guys? Yay, I'm so glad everybody can join us. Um, yeah, so awesome starter kit deal. You, uh, uh, okay, I think it is you pick $125 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping, plus you get to pick a free stamp set, so find the most expensive stamp set that you want and get that, and then you get a cute little paper trimmer too. Speaking of that, I think I can order that. I have to make sure I do that. Whew. All right, yeah, I want to like make a note, but I don't have a pen anywhere. <laughs> so someone remind me, will you post a, post a comment in here and say, don't forget to order that cute little paper trimmer, Amy, because <laughs> I'm afraid, like too many details, right? Um, yeah, because I want to be able to show you guys. So it's, it's one that they jokingly said, every purse needs this little paper trimmer. Like, yeah, so you got to get one, right? Um, and what else, what else? So yeah, celebration. Oh yeah, and then the whole deal, when you spend $50, you get to pick a free celebration item. That all starts on January 3rd. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? If you cannot wait for celebration to happen, you can buy the starter kit right now and you can actually start taking advantage of celebration as a demonstrator right now. Like every time I put in a $50 order, I get to pick a free celebration item right now. So keep that in mind. Um, you can actually get new mini. So I was calling it an occasions catalog. We've changed the name. It's not an occasions catalog any longer. Oh yeah, if I get the trimmer number. <laughs> All right, I'll post it on here as a comment, uh, Sally. That's what I'll do. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Totally like squirrel, like brain fart moment. Um, isn't that awful? I have literally have no idea. Someone help me. <laughs> Sorry. This is what happens when you take a week off. Your brain goes to mush, right? Yeah, I saw Sally's comment. Oh, so celebration. Oh, yeah, I know. That's what it was. So the occasions catalog is now called the mini catalog. So that's what we'll be calling it. The mini. Yes, thank you, Sharon. The mini catalog. 
Um, yeah, so it, you can actually, if you've been seeing, because I know um, some demonstrators have been posting projects using new mini catalog stuff, you can actually get that in your starter kit right now, too. You can get mini, new mini catalog stuff. Hey, Laura, oh my gosh, look at so many people joining us on the live. I love it, I love it, I love it. So thank you. Um, and real quick, because I'm like, I have all these people on here, right? Um, I just have to tell you guys, uh, and that's one of those I'm like hesitating. Do I talk about, like, do I mention? But I'm just gonna throw it out there because this year I've kind of been noticing has been not my best year, to be honest, in terms of class attendance is a little bit down locally and my sales are a little bit down from what they've been in past years. So I'm just kind of putting a plea out there if I, because I know that most of you have many demonstrators that you can choose from. Um, and so I'm just kind of saying, I would love if you are so inclined to put an order in, if you would choose me as your demonstrator, I would truly, truly appreciate it. I, you know, I always have these goals every single month, um, quarter, and then year, and I'm just, I keep kind of falling short and I'm, I'm not sure why. Um, and if you have any suggestions, if you have any ideas for me, things I can do on Facebook Live that maybe would be more entertaining or engaging or anything like that, I'm, I'm definitely open to suggestions um, on how to help me kind of boost things back up. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you are thinking about putting an order in, and I know you have your choice of demonstrators, I would love for you to pick me as your demonstrator. I'm gonna give you the host code that you can use, um, and that kind of picks me as your demonstrator, and then you get um, fun goodies from me too. So I, I would appreciate your support in that. And then like I said, suggestions. If you have any suggestions on what I can do to make things better, I am all ears. Um, I wanna hear what people have to say. So message me, um, yeah, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you on, on those ideas too, okay? Um, okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, I know one thing, actually one fun thing we have going on down at the Stamp Studio on, and I think it's the, yeah, it's Saturday, December 28th. Um, and so this is right after Christmas, right after kind of in between Christmas and New Year's holiday time, that Saturday, December 28th, I am gonna do a celebration and mini catalog kickoff event at the Stamp Studio. So if you um, if you come to classes at the end of the month, oh, thank you, Julie. Julie's got the mini paper cutter number for us. Awesome, I appreciate that. So Sally, there you go. Um, yeah, but if you come to classes at the end of this month, I will have, um, I'm just kind of getting them all labeled and put together. I have the um, celebration brochures and the um, mini catalogs. I'll be giving those out at classes at the end of the month. And then also at the celebration kickoff event on Saturday, December 28th. It's anytime from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're gonna make four fun projects. Thank you guys. Oh, let's see. Okay, we've got two different numbers. Okay, one, thank you. Okay, ha. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. And you also get a six by six paper sampler. Thank you, Sharon. I knew I was like, I shouldn't have even like mentioned that starter kit deal because I knew I'd, I don't have those like details down in my brain. But yeah, yeah, a six by six paper sampler of like fun paper from the new mini catalog too. So, okay, yeah, but let me know if anybody's interested in coming to that celebration kickoff event on Saturday, December 28th, anytime from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I will be playing with fun new stuff from the mini catalog and the uh, occasion, or um, <coughs> I knew that was coming, or the celebration brochure. We'll be playing with lots of fun stuff, and you can pick up the catalogs then, okay? Um, the other thing that I have um, going on starting with celebration on January 3rd, or I'll start it even right now because you know I'm pretty flexible. Um, I am doing a club member drive. That is one of the things that really helps me kind of keep my business going is people that say, yeah, I want to come hang out with you every month at the stamp studio and make cards at the Simple Beautiful Card class or make scrapbook pages at the scrapbook class or if you're not local, you can take advantage of the to-go kit club, which basically just means you wanna get one of my fun to-go kits every single month. It's a 12 month commitment for either Simple Beautiful Car class, scrapbook class, or the to-go kit club. Any of those are classes, well the local ones are classes, but they can be clubs too, just means you wanna come hang out with me every month, or you wanna get a to-go kit every month. With the to-go kits, you can pick between um, the different options, the product options that are available. Um, too, and it's awesome because then I ship those to you every single month and you have like a fun card kit in the mail every single month. 
So as part of my club member drive, you, if you sign up for a club, you get to pick a free celebration item. You get at least $30 in host benefits one month when you are the host of the club. And I love to make cute treats for my club members. So I always um, give you those or send those in your to-go kits. So let me know if you have any questions. I would love to get you set up in any of the clubs and um, take advantage of all those fun goodies that you get for um, basically for saying, yeah, I wanna do this every single month with you. So yeah, any questions, let me know, okay? Um, oh, another thing, just a quick reminder, I have lots of cute treats for sale down at the stamp studio. If anybody needs, I always think of like stocking stuffers, there are gift tags, gift card holders, um, there are cute little like home decor, like little boxes and things, or you can use them as like, you know, boxes for presents, put cute stuff inside them, um, gift bags too. Um, yeah, and just lots of cute treats with lots of uh, candy and chocolate and hot chocolate and I think that's it. Hand sanitizers, little hand sanitizer holder things too. So lots of fun stuff down there. I'm gonna be down there this afternoon from one until 4 p.m. Um, and then, yeah, after, like next week, if you wanna pop in, just let me know and I can meet you down at the stamp studio if you wanna shop for some fun little things, okay? Um, what else? My list goes on and on. Oh, yes. So starting tomorrow, I have a holiday shopping deal for you. This is my own personal thing. It's not anything to do through Stampin' Up! But starting on Saturday, December 14th and running through Christmas Day on December 25th, I am offering 20% off of any order. Now the thing is you can't like, you can't go online and order through Stampin' Up! because they're not gonna give you that discount. It's like a me personally kind of thing. So you need to email me or send me a message what you would like to order and then, um, well, we either have to do like cash check or PayPal. Um, I might be able to figure out a way to do credit card too. Um, but basically, I'll give you that 20% off of your order. So if you have any interest, um, let me know. And I'll still put your name in as if it was an online order for the drawing and stuff. That's not a big deal because I know you can't, you know, you can't physically order online and get that 20% off. So, okay. Uh, lots and lots of good stuff going on. I knew when I was making my list, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to talk super fast today or I'm never gonna get everybody uh, told everything that's going on. Although I think we're doing okay. So I have some fun cards to show you guys. So yeah, and you guys are still sharing. Oh, use the 154940. Oh, and you get a, oh, you do get the paper sampler. All right, I'm gonna have to check that out, Julie. So this is for demonstrators, sorry guys. As a demonstrator, you can order the little paper trimmer early before celebration starts because I think once January 3rd hits, we cannot get that little paper trimmer. You can only get it in the starter kit. So the idea was demonstrators order it now so you can show everybody and then that'll encourage them to want to get the starter kit. So, and you're going to want this little guy, I'm sure. So I'm excited to, uh, to see it. Okay, so I have to show you guys this card. I got a couple of Christmas cards and I'm super excited. And I will tell you, if you would like to send me a Christmas card, my address, um, I'm having things sent to the stamp studio because that's a little bit easier for me. Um, thank you for the share too, Becky. Um, so yeah, if you wanna send me a Christmas card and I'll share it on our Facebook Live, or if you don't want me to, you know, I love, no matter like some people are, you know, they don't feel like their card is worthy of being shared. I think that that's absolutely ridiculous. Every card is worthy of being shared, no matter what level you think you're at or how you thought your card turned out. They're all beautiful. They're all made with love and sent with love too. I think that's the best part about a handmade or any card really, just sending a card. You took that couple of moments to think about that person. I get like all like emotional about this because I think it's so cool, right? Right? You know when you get that card from someone, they were thinking of you when they wrote the inside of the card, when they you know put your name on the envelope and took it to the post office, someone's thinking about you, which is a pretty awesome feeling, right? Ah, like it all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but that's why we do this, right? So, okay, so this fun card, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at like all of this glitter. It's probably, oh yeah, it is gonna show up really well. Look at that. So it's almost like a winter wonderland with all the silver glimmer paper. And then we've got Mary, Christmas on this fun tag right here too with the little with the little loops right there but look at all that shimmery silver and this is from my friend Sherry so thank you very much Sherry um, for sending this card I really 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 appreciate that so isn't that beautiful and then I have one more to share with you and I love this idea so this card and this is before I'm going to show you right 
it was mailed with um, just a regular plain piece of cardstock that was embossed with one of our embossing folders. This happens to be the hexagon, which I don't even know if that's still available or not. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. But this is a great idea. If your card is a little bit bumpy and lumpy, oh, <laughs> sorry, thank you, Nikki. I got all excited about telling people to send me cards. Yeah, so this is the address. It's 209 East Superior Street. So 209 East Superior Street in Alma, which is A-L-M-A. -A. Michigan abbreviation is M-I, and the zip code is 48801. So Alma, A-L-M-A, -A, Michigan, 48801. So yeah, I would love to get a card from you guys, so thank you. I sent lots of cards out to people, and it's so fun to get the thank yous from everybody and get a return you know, card in the mail too, so I love that. Okay, but so back to, this is like a great idea to, like I said, just use a plain piece of cardstock, emboss it with whatever embossing folder you have, and it kind of absorbs the bumps of a beautiful card like that, right? Look at all of this detail that beautiful cardinal and I love it's almost like a nest right how she used um, I, I don't know I this is not stamping up product so I'm trying to think of what you uh, what you call it I can't I'm like drawing a blank but you guys get the idea like I said it looks a lot like a nest but all of the beautiful detail with the red rhinestones isn't that gorgeous so this is a card it says Christmas wishes on it Oh my, I just, this is gorgeous, right? So this is from a good friend of mine, Sandra, out in the Seattle area, uh, out in Washington State. And um, so I have to say thank you, first of all, Sandra, for this beautiful card. And also to let you guys know, um, to send a prayer to, um, oh my gosh, um, to Sandra. She just lost her husband earlier this week. Oh my goodness, oh, sorry. So Sandra, I hope like, well, I hope I don't make you cry too, but I'm sure there's been lots of tears. But anyway, I just was, that was, you know, that's a tough, tough, tough time of year to, it's always tough, obviously, right? But especially around the holidays. So I was thinking of you when I saw this card, this beautiful card, Sandra. So thank you for sharing this beautiful card with me too. I'm gonna like, <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, say a prayer for Sandra because that's a, you know, tough, tough thing to be going through right now, so. Um, okay, bringing it back, ladies, bringing it back. Um, okay, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what else? I have to check my list and I can't read because I've got like these little tears in my eyes. Um, okay, yeah, oh, let's let's do a drawing. How about that? We're doing our drawing. So, whereas we have the real red curly ribbon is what we're giving away today. So fun, gorgeous, uh, like sweater knit ribbon, right? So. You got your name entered into the drawing if you signed up for my email list. If you haven't done that yet, um, there is a link. That's probably the easiest way is, well, I share it all the time on our Facebook group, but then there's also a link um, on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. That's like a great hub. If you don't know where to find something, just go to Gathering Inc. with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, and there are links to everything everywhere on there. So, okay, yeah, so sign up for my email list or if you share this video right now. Um, so we'll be doing another drawing next week. So share the video, please. I so appreciate that. That's um, one way for me to kind of help build my business up, to meet new people that might be interested um, in being a part of our group um, and ordering Stampin' Up! products for me. So, okay, I'm shaking these all around, trying to make sure they keep kind of sticking together. So, all right, I'm going to make sure I have just one in my hand. And the winner is Miss Tracy Horton. So congratulations, Tracy. I do not believe I have your uh, mailing address. So Tracy, if you will send me, just email or uh, message me your address and I will get you real red, the curly ribbon sent. <laughs> You're too late, Sally, sorry. We'll get this ribbon sent out to you, okay? All right, so this next week we are going to give away, these are some of my absolute favorite. These are the beautiful star designer elements. Hey Debbie, how are you doing? <laughs> yes, so if you uh, share the video or sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that already, your name will go in the drawing to win the beautiful star designer elements on next Friday's Facebook Live, okay? Um, let's see, so I wanna show you guys, I'm trying to think of the, yeah, well, so this is, um, yeah, thank you for the share, Debbie. Oh, look at that, watching from Michigan, yay! It's kind of a gloomy, well, eh, you know, it's bright enough, right? No sun, but, you know, whatever. It's not snowing or raining, so that's a good thing, right? Um, okay, so the next, well, it's not even a drawing, because I actually, 
thank you guys for all these shares. Um, I only I only had one online order in the last two weeks, which um, you know it's, I know it's a hard time of year too because we're out um, like Debbie is out Christmas shopping. Uh, oops, okay, I have a text here that okay I think that's gonna go away. Yep, it's gonna go away. Okay. Um, all right, so I only had one online order, and so I don't even have to do a drawing. Uh, Miss K. Jacoby is going to be receiving the greatest part of Christmas stamp set. Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, your granddaughter's Christmas program. That's awesome, Lisa. Enjoy that. Oh, my goodness. I know this is such a fun time of year, isn't it? So, yes, Miss K., you will be receiving the greatest part of Christmas stamp set for your online order. Hey, Nancy, how are you doing? Yay, I'm glad you can be here with us. Um, okay, so she'll get this stamp set. She also is going to get the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. One of my rhinestones kind of went off kilter there. So if you guys remember, I showed you these, ha <laughs> ha, yay, okay. I showed these two cards, right? Or maybe I, yeah, I think I showed those two and then I made this one. So she's gonna get all three of these cute little note cards, right? And then this was the other card that I demonstrated. So she's gonna get that card too. Plus her order was over $50, so she gets the free embellishment for December, which is this, uh, the de designer. These are just regular designer elements, not stars, but the regular designer elements in the all the pretty kind of metals like gold silver and bronze i would say <laughs> thank goodness i didn't pick you huh sally yes uh so yeah so miss k lots and lots of goodies i'll be sending all this fun gift package out to you as a thank you for your order so thank you so much k i really appreciate that so, okay, this week, if you put an online order and use the host code that I'm gonna give you in just a few minutes, your name is gonna go into the drawing to win this fun Cheers to That stamp set. So these are the sentiments. We've got this fun one right here that says, raise your glass. We've got cheers. Uh, that one says, congratulations. Um, and this one, to the new year. So you could say, raise your glass or cheers to the new year, right? Or uh, raise your glass or cheers to the bride and groom. Yay. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss K, Miss Santa. Yes. Um, this one says, eat, drink, and have a Merry Christmas. And then this really pretty little, um, that glare is bad, like a, just a little flourishy scroll thing. And then this one says, to you and yours. Right, yes, I was trying to read that backwards. So a great stamp set, and my thought was, you know, we always have the best of intentions of getting all of our Christmas cards made, but if that didn't happen, maybe you could use this stamp set right here and you could make um, New Year's cards. I love that idea, because then you can make them even after the craziness of the holidays. You can whip them out right after Christmas, get them in the mail. Even if you do it the first couple weeks in January, I think that's still, you know, everybody's still like New Year, right? You can send a Happy New Year card instead with this awesome cheers to that stamp set so okay put your online order in use the host code your name will go in the drawing to win this and then you're also if you bump your order up to $50 you are gonna get a package of those designer elements plus you're gonna get the projects that we're gonna demonstrate in just a few minutes okay all right um, let's see let me scoot things out of the way I think we are ready to flip the camera down let me I feel like I, I thought that was gonna um hey Wendy how are you doing um yeah I thought I was gonna like go a lot longer well it's still yeah it's been 30 minutes right I try to not do too much more than that all right I think if I missed anything I'll tell you about it next week so um yeah okay yeah yeah we're all good okay so all right turn your heads away for a sec yeah, make them in July. That's a good idea. Your Christmas cards, then you'll be all set, right? Okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, so turn your heads away for a moment, and we're going to flip the camera down, and we will start doing some stamping. Let's see. All right, let me make sure everything's good here. Okay. Flip. Okay. I think we're all right, right? Get things adjusted a little bit here. Hold on one sec. I feel like, okay, hold on. This, um, I have to like adjust this a little bit. Maybe this will help. I 
feel like it's a little bit low. There. All right. I think we're good. Okay. So uh, let's do this. So I want to show you guys, if you haven't seen, uh, our latest class to go is called the Wish for It All class to go. So it features this. This is such a cute stamp set. So I love that doily. You can stamp that on anything, right? You've got fun sentiments like smile beautiful. It's your special day. Wish for it all. And hoping your day gives you the best kind of memories. Isn't that awesome? And then this fun cake like with the sparklers and then some more doilies on it. The crown. Everybody needs a crown, right? And then a little flower. And these actually kind of uses like sprinkles on a cupcake. I'll show you how I did that. So great stamp set. And then an awesome set of dies. Oh my goodness. So you can see this one is just an outline right here that cuts out that image. Or you can um, die cut the doily itself with all of that detail. A couple of fun candles. This one fits perfectly, of course, over your smile. Beautiful. Wish for it all. And it's your special day, that little kind of label with the fun little detail on it. Here is, you can make, you can stamp your crown, your flowers. This is like a cupcake base or maybe even a basket like for Easter. And then this I used as an ice cream cone on another card that I did not, it's down at the studio because we're making it today at class. I'll have to show you guys that next time. Uh, so yeah, an awesome set of dies that come. So wish for it all stamp set and the doily wishes dies, right? Um, so let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different options that we have available, right? Okay, so with this um, class to go, you always get four cards. Hey, Gwen, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us and I hope things are good for you. Um, so for the class to go, you make four cards and you get you get to make two of each of them. So I'm gonna show you the cards. So here's the first one. We've got a fun wish for it all with I love that ribbon, right? Then we have purple, right? It's your special day with, with this ribbon that I have been dying to use since it came out last summer. Finally got a chance to use it. We've got another wish for it all with the cupcake. That's where I use the little sprinkles on there. And then this one says, smile, beautiful. And we did stamping on the inside of most of them. This one says, it's your special day. Um, so lots of good sentiments and things in there too. So you would, again, make two of each of these cards, right? Um, so option number one includes the stamp set, the dies, and then you actually get... Oh shoot, I don't have those rhinestones over here. Well, I'll I'll sh I'll tell you about that. You get a full bolt of the granny apple green ribbon, a full bolt of the purple tricolor ribbon, and then as you can see, I use some of the noble peacock rhinestones on all of these cards, right? Can you see all these? You actually get a pack of the noble peacock rhinestones that you're going to use on these projects, and then option number 1, you get those rhinestones for free. Okay, so option number one is $88. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, you're gonna get both bolts of ribbon, you are gonna get the noble peacock rhinestones, and you're gonna get parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. Oh, plus you always get the PDF tutorial in any of these options to tell you how to put them together, right? I know, Wendy, I love the bright colors too. I had so much fun. Like, you know, Christmas is awesome, but by the about this time, I'm like, I'm ready for something different, different look. And so that's obviously not a Christmas see look at all on those cards right okay so yeah so option number two is already if you have the stamp set and the dies you need the stamp set obviously to do your stamping and your die cutting right so option number two is $42 okay and both of those option one and two ship priority mail for an additional eight dollars if you need it shipped to you if not you can pick uh, the studio pickup option and you can just pick your kit up down at the studio Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial to tell you step-by-step step how to put all of those cards together, that is $15, and it's always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. And then lastly is option number four for anyone in my Inkspired Stampers group, anybody in my downline, you can get the parts and pieces to make these cards. I give you everything that you need. You do need your stamp set and dies to do your own stamping and die cutting. Um, but that option is $12. And you're going to want to order those under your own demo ID so you can get your discount. I'd rather you get the sales and get your discount than me get those sales, right? So two of each of these, again, um, so eight cards total. That option number four is $12 for anyone in my downline. And if you're um, wanting these fun to-go kits each month, just join my downline and you can get them for just $12, right? Um, okay, let's see. 
RSVP and payment are due by Friday, December 20th, so a week from this Friday. And then the kits will ship out no later than January 2nd. So let me know if you have any questions, if I can get one of these fun to go kits uh, put together for you. I would love to do that. So much fun, those cards were. Okay, now we can start our stamping, I believe. Let me just. Oh, let's see, let's see here, right? Oh, let me give you this. Here's our host code for December, the 3HQ4GTQE, okay? That's the code that you can use if you order by next Wednesday at midnight, or like I said, if you wanna take advantage of my 20% off offer, email me and I'll still put your name in the drawing, right? As if you use this host code. If you order over $50, you get that free embellishment, those designer elements too. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Okay, so let me grab my grid paper. We are gonna start our stamping, okay? There we go. Actually, let's see. We will, let's, we're gonna scoot, well, we'll try that. Maybe I'll just scoot it up there for now, right? We'll see how that goes. Okay, everybody can see, we're all good. Okay, so you guys, the product of the week, this fun, stamp set, the tags, 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 stamp set, and then the trio of tags dies, right? Hey, Amy Jo, I'm glad you can join us. So I love, because there are three different holidays. We've got Halloween, we've got Valentine's Day, and we've got Christmas on here. And the fun thing is, have you guys seen how this works? So it's this is all one stamp. So for example, we'll go that way. These are all of the Halloween stamps. And then here are the dies that cut them all out, right? So stamp once, die cut once, and you end up with three tags, Halloween, Christmas, and Valentine's Day. And then they've got these other cute little snowflakes, hearts, and little baby pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns there too. So just a really fun stamp set and little set of dies that make tag making super quick and simple, right? Okay, so I wanna show you guys these cute little, this also uses the curvy keepsake box, which I have the mini, the mini curvy keepsake box. Aren't these just the cutest little, can you imagine just kind of putting one of each of these at like, you know, the table at a place setting, um, like at Christmas, how fun that would be, or like maybe for a little party that you're having, or kind of put them all, you know, maybe as like a little party favor, right? And just put them all out on a beautiful platter or tray or something with these fun, little treats right okay so let me show you because this is very simple I love how simple these little boxes are to make okay let's make sure I have everything here okay so the curvy keepsake dies I had to show you guys these two I've been I don't know what I've been waiting for honestly this is one that I've had for a little while and I just I love like the heart and the couple of little labels the little star and we use those spriggy guys there too so let me show you how simple these little treats are to make and these would be great this um these dies actually are carrying over there's a stamp set that goes with these dies that is not carrying over but the these mini curvy keepsake box dies are carrying over so you could even use them and make little valentine treats too if you're all set for christmas already or easter um whatever you need them for little um, birthday gifts for a little birthday party so I have, this is just a piece of six by six. This is the Twal Tidings Designer Series paper. And did you guys see, this is interesting. They are saying this paper is carrying over, but not until the next holiday catalog comes out. So order it now while you still can, if you want it for this year, or you'll be able to order again when the new holiday catalog, the 2020 holiday catalog comes out, which I believe for customers is usually September timeframe. So that's kind of interesting. They did that with, I don't know, maybe a handful, 10 or 12 different things that are all going to carry over from one holiday catalog to the other. But there's this time frame like January through August that you won't be able to order them. So that's a little bit different for us. They're going to try that and see how that works. So you can see I just put, I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath. Oops. And then my six by six designer series paper. Everything is wiggling the die, and then the other clear cutting pad is on top. So look at how quick and easy and simple. And this is kind of a fun, you know, find something fun to do with that too, right? But look at this. So, you know what, let's, mm, yeah, I'm gonna show you how, how easy this is to put together and then we'll do the rest of our die cutting. Scoot 
take that out of the way just for a sec, right? Okay, so it perforates everything too. So you just kind of gently fold in. So you have to be a little bit careful because this is designer series paper, not quite as thick as our cardstock, right? But you can see how, right? So I just kind of bent those back because I'm gonna put those together right there. And then I love that this goes together so, oops, I thought I had those together in my hand, but I did not. So pinch those two together. I like to kind of push down on it so it pops those sides out. And then that slit is already there. Okay, this is like the easiest thing in the world to do, except when I'm doing it on the camera, right? Okay, so, and there's a little notch that kind of holds that in place, right? So can you guys see, like, it's a, it's not a big area, which is kind of nice. You don't have to buy too much, right? So I found these little um, Hershey Kisses. So these are the hugs right here, so the, with the little stripes. And then these are the kisses that say ho, ho, ho on them, right? And they're like a little Santa Santa hat maybe, right? With the little white and red. I thought those were pretty cute too. I hadn't seen those before. So uh, four of them fit in there just about perfectly. And then you just put that there. And then again, it kind of, it holds itself together, right? Look at how cute. I, I remember a few years ago, we had the regular, like a little bit larger size curvy keepsake box. And I was so bummed when it retired because I they're just so quick and easy and simple to make. Use the cute designer series paper, right? And you're all set. The other fun thing is you don't have to like tear anything apart. This little guy just lifts up and opens. You can eat the little treats and then you can put more in it, right? Gift it to somebody else. I love to do that. And then it just pops right back in place there. So you don't have to ruin it as you open it right? Okay, so now let me show you. Here are a couple of the stamps that are all on the one stamp. I'm going to grab, I want to stamp on this guy. Okay, I've got my stamp. I have just a strip of very vanilla cardstock, right, with our garden green ink. So we're just going to open this guy up. I'm gonna put that right on here so I can see what I'm doing because you want to get all of these. We're only going to use one of them, but I want you guys to see how cool this is. I'm trying to make sure I get them all inked well. That looks pretty good. To be able to stamp all three of these at once. And sorry, this thing's really wiggling. Something's a little bit loose, I think. But okay, so I'm trying to make sure I get all the ink off. Yes, all right. Okay, we're gonna scoot this out of the way. Okay, so here are our three different, this is my favorite, Express Your Elf. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. We've got Bring on the Merry and Season's Greetings, okay? So now we are gonna grab our big shot again, our die cutting machine again, excuse me, all right? So we're gonna pop this right back on here. Put that back through there. And let's get that little bit off there, right? I do have some of my garden green cardstock to make these little spriggy things there too, okay? So with my dies, oh, right here, okay. So I'm just gonna use, those are right from the trio of tags dies, right? Those little guys. And then what did I do with the, it's here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Oh, actually, excuse me. These little guys are from the Curvy Keepsake dies. What are they called? Yeah, the mini Curvy Keepsake box dies. Sorry, sorry. So those little spriggy things. Now we're gonna use from the tags, tags, tags dies, right? These right here. Hey, Karen, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Uh, okay, so this little tag set, right, is all three in one. So this is the fun part. You have to be a little bit careful to make sure you get everything lined up well, right? You've got three things you need to kind of be eyeballing, not just one. So we'll see, hopefully I'm gonna do this all right. It's funny how you move it and you get one thing lined up and then another thing looks like, but I think we're gonna be good there. I think, I think, let's see, we might scoot that over a tiny bit more. Okay, there, that's enough futzing, right? Okay, so we're gonna just crank this through the die cutting machine and I'm gonna go back. Sorry for the wiggles. Just close your eyes for a sec. Okay, we're all done wiggling. There we go. Okay, so we are gonna pop these little babies out. Oh yay, it did work. Okay, 
Well, this one's a little bit off, but this one I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna use this Express Your Elf because it's my favorite, but look at how cute they, can you guys see the little holes? It's so dark, isn't it? But yeah, so it kind of die cuts those little holes. It die cuts that one right there. And then this one just kind of nicely goes around there. Okay, so I've got two extra little tags that I can use for something else. You should see the piles of those things that I have everywhere ladies it's a little ridiculous for oh i might use those someday somewhere <laughs> i don't know if it's going to happen at this point okay so let's see sometimes you just have to like bounce those around a little bit i hope because i forgot i know i can use my i know what i can use all right let's scoot this out of the way i forgot my paper piercing tool and my um, dye brush, but that's gonna work. I just used, there's that, well, there we go. Okay, try this one again. Usually if you kind of fling them around, <laughs> things kind of start coming apart. Maybe, maybe, there we go. Okay, you have to be able to get something out of there, right? Okay, so I'm gonna scoot those back over there. All right, so now I want to just add a little bit of adhesive on the back of these guys. And use your little silicone mat, right, so that things don't stick all over to your little work paper. And we're just gonna kind of put, I'm gonna tack these behind there. Just a little bit like that, right? Okay. Then we are gonna grab, this is the, where does it tell me? The braided linen trim. So it's kind of a, a little bit thicker, wider linen trim. And I'm gonna cut that a little bit of an angle. That's like a little trick, right? If you kind of have that at a little bit of an angle, cause it's a little bit wider than like our other twine, but it fits right through there, right? Then we've already got our little chocolates in there, right? So when you gift this to someone, just tell them to untie the bow and then lift that off of there and they are all set. You can enjoy their little candy. So we're just gonna tie this in a bow on here. And voila! So you can see how simple and easy this is to make these cute little Express Your Elf treats. And you could color in there if you wanted, but I think it's cute just the way it is with those little spriggy guys. And I love the little um, check, is it? I don't know, what hound's tooth, whatever it's called. Anyway, I love that pattern. But this twall paper is really pretty too. And I thought, this tag kind of went well with the toile, and then I thought this was a little bit more fun um, that goes a little bit better with that pattern of paper. So you can put on there whatever you like, but super cute little mini curvy keepsake treat boxes. Okay, all right, let's kind of wipe these things off. Always have to kind of clean up a little bit, even though it's the never ending process, right ladies? Okay, so I'm gonna scoot those over in the corner there. And so the next project, again, features our tags, tags, tags stamp set and the trio of tags dies. Um, let's scoot this right here. Okay, so here, and I moved on. I was like, okay, we're done. Well, we're not really done with Christmas, but you know, if you haven't made your Christmas cards yet, you better get to it, right, ladies? And you probably better have the product that you want for this year's cards. Maybe you're eyeing something that you want for next year, so make sure you get that while you still can too, right? But in the meantime, I thought it would be fun to show you a Valentine's Day card. So I loved this little tufted embossing folder. This is one that I see other people using and I haven't used it enough. So I was really excited to be able to use it on this card. So let me show you how we made this one, okay? Um, the other one too, there weren't really measurements other than, because I was just thinking about that, you just need about a six by six piece. Maybe you could go a little bit smaller, but probably safe to stay with six by six. So now for this card, we have, this is our card base that measures four and a quarter by 11, and we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? I have just a little piece of, this is the part of our Regals designer series paper. This one measures three inches by one inch, okay? You guys see that? Let me move that up a little bit there, right? Just a scrap of real red glimmer paper to make my little hearts. Um, and then, let's see, what do we have? 
two pieces of Whisper White cardstock because I did, I put a piece on the inside. Um, I think I forgot those little stamps. Those are from our last product of the week, the little um, every season stamp set and punch pack. Those are the little hearts that were in there because there weren't any other little hearts, you know, to stamp with this stamp set. So I had to find another stamp set to stamp just a little something on the inside there. Okay. But so both of these white pieces are the same size and they measure, let me make sure I give you that right. This one is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay. Because the outside one is layered on a piece of basic black cardstock that is just an eighth of an inch bigger at four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So let's do, what do we wanna do? Oh, also a piece of basic black cardstock. This one measures two inches by three and a half inches, okay? I am going to pop this little guy in here. I'm gonna punch that, right? and we'll scoot that out of the way the other thing i'm going to show you while i'm thinking about it right now so i um you could use a longer piece of designer series paper i was trying to make sure i had enough for everybody because we're actually making this card at class so i went with this is the one by three inch normally you could make it longer and then use your um, trio of tags punch to punch the ends to make that look but here's another little trick if you're trying to conserve paper or you wanna know exactly the length that you have. So you can see how I just found the middle, just eyeballing it, right? And then I'm gonna to go to the corner here. I'm gonna cut up to the one, and I like to flip it over. It's easier than cutting in that way for me. I just flip it over, and I find the corner, and cut up there, okay? So there's one. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna to go to our corner. We're gonna cut up. And then we're gonna to go to our corner and we're gonna cut up. And you see, perfect, right? So that's another way. Or if you don't have the tag topper punch or the trio, what, what is it called? The triple banner punch. If you don't have that, this is another way to do that too, okay? Alrighty, let's see. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our stamping. So, and I just brought a little piece this time, okay. So apparently I didn't wanna show you all three Valentine stamps um, because I didn't bring Let's see, where is it? Right here. Okay. So this time we have some basic black, well, tuxedo memento black ink. And then these are all of our Valentine stamps. So we're going to use this Be Mine Valentine, or this one's kind of fun. You are excellent. Or this one says, I love you more. If you can see that in there. I just looked over here. I cheated because <laughs> I could not read that there. But okay, so we're going to use that top stamp right there. Okay, so we're going to ink this up really well. I'm, I am pounding. This is the black um, kind of linen ink, and I want that a little bit more there. Although I was going to say that heart didn't look like it had enough color to it, but it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it up. Okay, beautiful. Love it. All right, now we can do our die cutting. So I've got a nice mess working here, our die cutting and embossing. Okay, so we need, we're gonna put these pieces up here because we don't need those. We need to die cut and emboss those guys there. Okay, so I'm organized, I think. Let's see. All right, got my big shot here. Okay, dies, where are they? Let's see, we're gonna put that one right there. Okay, I just used them. Yep, they're right here. Okay. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. So we're going to use this one right here. So I'm going to scoot that up a little bit. I'll get that in place in a sec. I'm going to show you. These are the little hearts. And this is kind of fun because it cuts out some kind of inside and outside bits there. I'll show you what I mean once we run it. It's almost easier. I have found I'm more of a um, uh, visual shower of these things than I am <laughs> when I speak. You know, sometimes the words just don't come to me. Okay, turn your heads away again for a sec if this wiggles around some. Sorry, guys. Okay, we've got one more. There we go. Okay, so 
Let's see, how did that one do? Good, all right, we got one little bit. So cute, huh? And I love those little, those little scallopy edges that cut out. And then this is fun, okay? So that little die right there actually made, can you guys see? I think you can kind of see, but I'll hold them up. So it cut, so it did that one, and then this one was right inside there. Isn't that cute? Sorry, I can't turn my hand the right way, but you'll see those again in a sec when we put things together. Okay. Let's just scoop this right out of the way. Oh no, we can't do that yet, can we? We need to do our embossing. Um, let's see. All of a sudden I was like, where's the other platform? But I see it. It might be a little bit buried, but I see it, I see it. Okay, so we've got our piece of Whisper White cardstock with our tufted embossing folder, okay? So we are gonna pop this one in, and I love the line, that's really good. Helps us keep things straight on there, right? So this time we just need the regular platform, our embossing folder, and one clear plate. Because this is one of the really thick embossing folders. So we're gonna go back and forth through here for a sec. And I think all is good, right? Okay, so there we go. Just putting this all out of the way. And I think we can put things together now. I'm gonna grab this little sheet because I'm gonna need to put some adhesive on the back of these things. And again, I don't want to make everything all sticky here, right? Okay, so let's see, what do we wanna do first? Let's do our little tag guy, okay? So actually, where is the tag? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I cut it. How does that happen? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, well, I guess we could always do another one. Okay, we're gonna flip this. I'm gonna put this over here. You guys can see still, right? So we are gonna pop this little guy right on there eventually when I get it where I want it, right? Okay, that looks good. We are gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind that. Right, and then we are gonna pop these on our little black. I love, this is the delightful tag topper punch, which makes me think too, um, I will have the item codes for everything that we have used on this project on my blog. It's gonna be tomorrow morning though, because I have to get right to class. Uh, actually, I think I have to go pick Lily up from school since she's not feeling well and then get to class so I don't have time to get everything uploaded to my blog before class. Um, and then there's a lot going on tonight. So it'll be tomorrow. I'll have everything uploaded there. All of the item codes for everything that we are using on these projects in case there's anything that you would like to order. Okay. And don't forget, if you order online, make sure you use that host code to get the freebies. Or if you want to take advantage of my 20% off deal that starts tomorrow, just email me and I will get you your total with your 20% off. Okay, so all I did was put that embossed piece on my black cardstock. Now I'm gonna add a bunch of adhesive because I've got two pieces, right, of cardstock there that we are gonna add to our real red card base, right? We're gonna pop these. I love this black and white and red, so fun. Okay, so this is the piece that goes on the inside that I believe I have those little heart stamps down at the studio. So I am gonna stamp that when I get it down there. But that just goes in there like that, okay? Next, we can add some adhesive on our tag. So we can put that one right on there. So you see, simple, simple, right? Okay, now we're gonna add the blingy fun here. So we've got our little hearts. I'm gonna add some adhesive there. This one I'm gonna kinda just tick around it. That's the only way I can use to explain that and kind of run a little bit on that one. And sometimes they stick on there, but you can pull those right off. Okay, so this one is stuck to my finger, probably because they're so dry. Put that one on there. Going to put that one right there, and then one more. So that stamped really well, but if it didn't, doesn't really matter because we're gonna put our sparkly red glimmer. This paper is retiring too, so make sure you get some red glimmer paper, then you can use it for your Valentine project too. Okay, and then we have, this is the Real Red Cotton Ribbon. This is from our annual catalog. So this is not going away for a while, which is kind of handy, 
right? Again, you can use this for your Valentine projects too. I used it a lot for my Christmas projects. So we're just making a bow right here. Okay, got that. We are gonna snip that off. And where am I? I'm gonna use a mini glue dot and pop this one on. And I think, hey, Abby, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good Friday. Okay, there we go. All right, so craft or math. It's actually not too bad, but it's not great. There's always stuff to clean up, right? Okay, so just gonna fling that stuff out of the way, right? And yeah, okay, there we go. I was looking at it like, did I forget something? But yeah, so cute little Valentine cards, right? So fun. I love these little hearts. Aren't those so cute? The sparkly little hearts, right? From Those are from that trio of tags dies, right? So you can see I didn't use the little jack-o'-lanterns or the snowflakes on the trio of tags dies. But like I said, I'll have item codes for everything that we used on my blog tomorrow. You can check that out. Um, or you can even just search on uh, the Stampin' Up! website if you know the name of something that we used. That's another way. Just use the looking glass, okay? So quick reminder, if you are ready to order any of the products, make sure you use this host code. I truly appreciate every single order I get from you all. And like I said, I know you have a number of demonstrators you can choose from, so I do truly appreciate you choosing me as your demonstrator too to order from right so use that host code right by next Wednesday at midnight you are gonna get this project and then one of these cute little babies right that I just made I will probably um send it open though so you can kind of put it together because if I send it like this it'll get all smashed up and we don't want that I'll put the chocolate in there for you though so you can you know kind of tie everything up put it all together so it'll be all cute and ready to go right so you get one of each of these projects if you bump your order up to $50 you also get a package of the designer elements with your order plus Plus, your name goes in the drawing to win the cheers to that stamp set. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's project. So I hope you've enjoyed that product of the, ooh, excuse me, the tags, tags, tags bundle, the stamp set and the trio of tags dies. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope everybody's kind of, you know, getting ready for Christmas. Um, hopefully, um, maybe doing a little baking, right? That's what I love to do as it gets closer to the time uh, for Christmas, right? So have a great weekend, everybody, and we will see you right back here next Friday. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye!